Hey guys, what's up? The fish here, back again in RimWorld. It's been a little while. Uh, we're up to Alpha 3 now. It's been out a little over a month, and um, that's the good news. The bad news is, I've been putting off making this video. Uh, it seems the the update broke save game compatibility. Uh, the game saves in a different place, so I moved our saved games over to the new location. Uh, but the, the the save still failed to load. It went all trippy colored and the, the game crashed. But uh, there is a new version, so that's the good news. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna start over here, and we're gonna lose our save sometimes. Uh, it's an alpha. We can expect to we can expect things to break every now and again. And with that in mind, for this colony we're going to be playing with Randy Random as our AI storyteller. Hopefully we'll see a few more of the events. Uh, our colony may last a video, it may last 10 videos, it may survive until another update breaks it. Uh, but that's all good. Whatever happens we'll take it. Uh, I just want to, to burn through a colony, see a lot of the stuff, before we have to worry about a, another game ending update. So, Randy Random. Let's pick some new guys here. Click, ran click Randomize a bunch of times. We have Jonathan Craig. Or John. He's a... He's a good shooter. So he was a son of a huntress. In the mountains of the planet Ticonder Ticonderoga, John was raised by his tribal mother. She taught him survival skills. Trapping, tracking, shooting, skinning, cooking, and healing. His departed father had left behind... An old boat, an old boat action, an old bolt action rifle. Oh man! And John practiced with it every chance he got. That typo uh, there threw me off. Uh, and then he became a space hunter. Now a man as well uh, as well as proficient hunter. <laughs> oh man! Now a man as well as a proficient hunter and maxman. John yearned for more. He took leave from his birth world, traveling the great expanse in search of exotic game. So he's a hunter. He has scrupper lungs, and he's broad-minded. He's incapable of intellectual law. Next one. Wait, do we see? Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's age 21. 29-year-old female. She's good at growing. So yeah, we'll, we'll take her. Carice Prissy Romero, age 29. She was a cave world tender. Prissy grew up in a cave complex deep beneath the surface of an inhospitable world. She worked with the other children, tending the tribe's fungal crops. Then she became a glitter world surgeon. Prissy worked as a surgeon on a world mostly free of disease and human suffering. Her job mostly involved elaborate and creative cosmetic surgeries. She had a good understanding of human biology, but never had to remove a cancer or a bullet. And our final colonist is going to be, drumroll please, M.J. Simon, a 38-year-old female. She was a coma child. A childhood accident put Simon into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. Then she became a chef. Simon ran a high-class mid-world restaurant. She was famous among patrons for her creative culinary specialities, and infamous among kitchen workers for her casual disdain for grunt work. So, she's a great cook, but she doesn't like cleaning and stuff. That's fine. Uh, anything new in the advance? No, we'll just keep that basic. And we'll hit start. Uh, I don't remember the changes in Alpha 3. So we'll discover them together. Sure, there's some interesting things to explore, though. The three of you awake in your long sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and whipping metal. You barely get the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Well, that's a new feature right away. Got a cool, cool music thing going on there. A cool music thing. Really. So the game now has music. Let's hope we don't get uh we don't get flagged 
first thing, of course, we're going to do is tell them to dig out all that. And we'll start thinking about where we're going to build our colony. Do we have... Oh, it's like ruins. That's cool. Hmm. Um, we might go over here, actually. There's a geyser there. Yeah, I like that. How much does that cost? 250. Let's put that down right away. And that'll go up when they have enough things. Uh, we might repurpose this this building here. Let's put a door in. No, we'll just use a simple door. Oh, it's oddly shaped. Uh oh. That's fine, though. We'll just put a normal door on. And fill in that gap. Or we could split the room up, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put a wall up there for no real reason. We'll put another simple door in. I don't know what we'll use this building for, but... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, now we'll make a place to house our batteries. Build that next to this. We want a, an internal area of about 5x5. Five five. Find that works the best. 2, 3, 4, 5. Where's my wall then? Gonna be touch off center. We'll just use a simple door there as well. Oops. Because people aren't gonna need to go into the battery storage room very often. And we need a floor. Metal tiles. Concrete. We use concrete. We can, so why not? I hope we can make uh, stone stuff at some point. Probably have to research it or... What else do we have? Hunt. So that'll make, uh, that'll make hunting a little bit easier. That's nice. Oh, and a planning mode. That's cool. Game's really starting to shape up. Which is great to see. Okay, so who is our hunter? John. You're gonna get the rifle. These two can fight over the pistols. Pistol? There it is, in that bush. Might as well unforbid all this stuff. Some food up there, we definitely want that. So when people have nothing better to do, they'll go and collect all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of it. Uh, we're gonna need... a place to... Yeah, we don't need that, do we? Let's, uh... Let's be a bit more high-tech. We're not going to eat nutrient paste. We're going to eat proper food now that we have the ability to. So where should we, where should we build our our main building? I like over here. Let's uh let's plan it out first. We have the new planning feature, so why not? We'll leave a gap of 3. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, how big do we want it? Uh, I'd like five on each side of the door. So eleven. Oh, well, that's too big. We'll have to put a pillar in them. But that's fine. We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Door. One, two, three, four, five. Wall. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is going to be our our main room here, our communal area. When these guys get around to building stuff, we finally have the geothermal generator online, which is great. That'll that'll see us good for power for quite a while. Uh, can we build? A cook stove in here. There, that'll be our kitchen. Great. Our butchery table can go in here. And we'll need uh, some stockpiles here. We just want this to be for uh, just raw, raw meat. As you know, we don't want food in there at all. We want this to be for animal corpses for our butcher to to, to take from. And then in this room is where we will have our ingredients stockpile. Like so. Those guys are still hanging out over there, so let's accelerate time a little bit. People aren't too interested in building. Well, that's fine. They'll get around to it. We're not in too much of a hurry, or... Well, saying that, we don't know how long it's going to be before Randy starts doing his thing. So let's not get too complacent here. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Okay. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna die. Let's get all these guys recruited into the military. Let's take cover. Over behind. These rocks. John, we need you. You're gonna be basically our only hope here. So these guys are new. Oh, they're like tribesmen. Okay, stop. Defend yourself. Oh god, Simon's in trouble. Run away, Simon. Now what? Oh great, now a squirrel's going crazy too. Flee. As long as we can stay away from... Oh good, the squirrel's fighting for our side. Excellent. So they have stones. So, so so long as we can uh, shoot all these guys, we should be fine. Well, no shit, right? But they sh they shouldn't be too much of a threat. They're only throwing stones at us, after all. Okay, knocked one of them out. Killed another. Let's get around on the flank here with John. a siren. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can hear that. Come on. Okay, let's try and get Simon around on the flank here too. So take cover behind the cactus. Get all the way around the back. Now we have them flanked. They're fleeing. 
We'll finish this guy off before he gets away. Come on, get him. Get him. Ah. Let's return those guys to duty. And forbid the corpses so they can go and uh, dump those over here. Yeah, we might as well unforbid the squirrel. We can eat that. I wonder if the cook stove and butchery table need uh, power, because these walls don't have any power conduits in them. So that might not be uh, possible. Guess we'll see what happens. Can always just run some power cable in there. We'll probably need to for lights anyway, so. Drop down some blueprints for. Now what? Oh, cargo pots. Oh, cool. Medical. Su medical supplies. That might come in handy. Let's uh, build our batteries. Uh oh, what's this? Oh God! Stop! Somebody kill the squirrel! Kill it! Kill the squirrel! Kill the squirrel! Attacking it, it attacked us in our sleep. And you're all terrible shots. Okay. Uh oh. Pirate raids. Don't need those. Those tribesmen were bad, bad enough. Let's build a standing lamp in there as well. Where are our batteries? You people need to build quicker. I have a power door in this because it's uh, a main building. So what's better? They're all ugly, but we'll get metal tiles in here. Oh, we'll get paved tiles. Nice stone floor. Oh, someone's gonna have a mental break. I need to sort that out. It's because I've got them sleeping next to the bodies, because I'm a dumbass. Let's uh, deconstruct those sleeping spots. Move their sleeping spots over here. Get them out of the way of those bodies. People don't like to uh, be around de the dead. Yes. Prissy has been observing corpses all day, so she's unhappy. Okay, we're finally getting some of our batteries up and we're generating power. Geothermal power. Generators are amazing. They don't... What? You're not food. You are clearly not food. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't too bright of me, was it? No matter. So, Simon or Simon... I'm just going to call her Simon, is our designated room builder here. Let's keep this uh, super fast acceleration going. We're going to need lights in, this, in these rooms here. Do it like that. They're not going to be powered. But we'll deal with that 
when the time comes. <laughs> the squirrel just crawled all over Prissy's face. Is it a squirrel or is it a boomerang? It's a boomerang. So we really need to move our our sleeping arrangements inside. We'll we'll get some beds set up in here in a little while. Is that why we're building so slowly? Do neither of those two build? Oh crap. Let's uh let's have everybody doing stuff. Lazy bastards. Turn everything on. Anybody who can do stuff will do stuff. Oh, you're crap at mining, so I think you're worse than crap. Okay. That'll ooh, factions. Okay, so these are the factions we have around our, around us, I guess. Most of them hate our, hate us. We need to make friends with these guys. They're a small community of survivors. They've lived here for decades. They've lost most of the technology that brought them here, and usually work with simple mechanical tools and structures, and defend themselves with advanced gunpowder era weapons. Not inherently aggressive nor weak, they are concerned with the practical matters of trade, trust, and survival. So we definitely want to make friends with those guys. We have a tribe. I think these are the people who attacked us. These people have been here a very long time. Maybe their ancestors crashed here a thousand years ago. Maybe they survived some cataclysm that destroyed a technological civilization here. In any case, the tribals are mostly nomadic people who live off the land using primitive tools and weapons. Some tribes are more aggressive than others. Many are open to trade and alliances, even with strange people like yourselves. Close cooperation or recruitment will be very difficult because of the vast socio-technolo-techno- That's a mouthful. The vast socio-technological and linguistic gap between the tribals and yourselves. Despite their apparent technological weakness, the tribals can be dangerous enemies and valuable friends because of their skill with low-tech warfare, their numbers, and their hardiness. We also have some pirate bands here. Pirates don't sow, they don't build, and they rarely trade. They enrich themselves mostly by raiding and robbing the more productive groups in the area. Their technology level depends mostly on who they've managed to steal from recently. Mostly they carry gunpowder weapons, though the luckier ones may have advanced energy weapons, and some may just like to stab people at close range. So that's nice. We have some some factions. We'll, I'm sure, encounter them a bit more later. Maybe we can start trading. That'd be cool. I think I will build a nutrient paste dispenser. Because we're not cooking any meals right now, and it, it will help our diet a little bit. It's a little bit more efficient than just eating the raw food stuffs, I believe. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're getting more stuff. Yeah, you might want to stay away from those bodies. Okay, we've nearly finished a room. And we can net Rimville. We can now name our place. So we've had rejection. It was a pretty shitty place. Uh, so how about how about we think uh, a little higher this time? Let's let's try and craft a place that's nice to live. I will call it perfection. Again, again, rather named after the wonderful town of Perfection, Nevada, from the Tremors series of movies. Once we get this building finished here, I think we'll we'll call it for an episode. We'll let them finish what they are what they're building, and then we'll call it an episode. They still have a, a few things to do, and we do indeed need to run a power conduit around here. Hopefully that'll work. Oh yeah, we do need to power the these things. Not the butchery table, but we do need to power the cook stove. But I believe we can now do something where they make meals automatically.
as they're needed. Uh, I don't know how to do that. What's that? Suspense. Okay. Oh, we have a thing. Let's read that and then we'll call it. Oh, there's a guy called Edward Toon visiting the colony. So, we'll call this episode here and when we come back we will see what this guy wants.